When we were filming at uh, Chernobyl, one of the things that happened all the time there was checks, radiation checks, checkpoints. For me, a lot of the programs start to get interesting when they depart significantly from expectations or from script. And in Chernobyl, we wanted to document the whole process of vehicles being checked over and we'd actually already passed through this particular checkpoint but we wanted to do it again just to properly document it and there was a new officer on duty and I think because he'd been told that we were okay he just waved us through. So our director had a word with one of the superiors who asked this guy you know can he give it a proper search whereupon he pretty well took the vehicle apart. And this is a vehicle I just borrowed. It belonged to this old guy and he, you know, he'd lent it to us. It's sort of like a, a Russian style VW camper van, very, very characterful. But this guy was suddenly saying, what's under the seat? I had no idea, what's in that box there? And one thing he did, he actually refused entry to my fishing gear, which had in fact been clear that we didn't have the documentation on us. So sometimes, once you're through a checkpoint, just go. I mean, don't go back and film it again. Otherwise, you know, you can end up in all sorts of problems. Thank <laughs> you.